my company uh, primarily deals in the, in the defense industry and uh, we were doing a demonstration last December and I noticed these vehicles, uh, these crash attenuator vehicles and I was asking myself, what is this? It looks like a big crash barrier and we actually have a human being driving the vehicle. The sole purpose of that TMA truck is to protect the men and women who are working in that work zone just ahead of them. The technology that we are offering now in these TMA trucks is actually going to remove the driver who is highly at risk in the, sitting in that truck literally waiting to be struck. The technology that we developed here seems to be something that might lend itself to a bunch of different applications. Look closely. You see that? No driver. This autonomous truck-mounted attenuator truck is equipped with military technology that allows it to follow another vehicle sans driver. You can think of it as a game of follow the leader truck style, like this black SUV. It has a driver and a nav module on the roof that sends GPS data known as e-crumbs to the driverless truck, telling it how fast and where to go. You take the driver out of the cab and you make the job safer should the truck get hit. I think we'll be seeing a whole lot more autonomous tech like that in the future. The ATMA truck stands for Autonomous Truck Mounted Attenuator. That truck saved their lives. The way it works is we actually developed a system which we call our multi-platform applique kit. The MPAC system actually uses a velocity, heading, and position data from the manned leader vehicle and transmits that data to the unmanned follower vehicle in what we call ECROMs. And these ECROMs allow the follower vehicle to mimic the exact speed, heading, and direction. Every day we, we feel better and better about what we do and that's the juice that keeps us going when we build these trucks. When somebody sees you with no hands on the cereal or a person not in the vehicle at all, they do tend to look twice. The truck is electronically linked to that Hummer up ahead, which has a driver at the wheel. The Hummer is beaming signals to sensors in the truck. When this vehicle goes, that vehicle goes. He speeds up, he speeds up. When he stops, he stops. And when we had the opportunity of hooking up with Kratos, who's a military defense contractor, it made a lot of sense to roll this technology into the work zones which is a very, very dangerous environment. CDOT is launching the Autonomous Truck Mounted Attenuator as a pilot project that helps show what self-driving technology can do in the right application. It effectively eliminates the need for a driver in the vehicle, taking them out of harm's way. It's because it really truly is the future of transportation. We will eliminate any possibility of any driver being killed in a work zone from a TMA. Let's see what this thing can do. Thank you for joining the Colorado DOT in Fort Collins for the world's first unveiling of an autonomous work zone protection vehicle. This vehicle is designed to protect the workers in front of it from being injured or killed by any members of the traveling public that enter into the work zone. Down in Texas, they have one of these vehicles hit almost every week. So they have an extremely high precision GPS system that allows the position data to give us plus or minus four inch accuracy. Information is picked up by the following vehicle and it matches position, it matches heading, and it matches speed while keeping a constant gap distance. Coalesce are global innovators and they invest heavily in research and development. The one thing that's come out of innovation is road worker safety. Originally, you know, a few years ago, we used to have three guys uh, putting out traffic management in one IPV. We've reduced that to uh, two uh, being protected because we brought in another impact protecting vehicle, but the person driving the impact protection, he was at risk. So what is the future for this? Well, within Colas, we really want this to be the industry standard whenever impact protection vehicles are working out on the live carriageway. Royal Truck Equipment has been a Pennsylvania-based manufacturer for over 30 years. Our sole purpose is to build the safest TMA truck in the U.S. We also have an independent wireless uh, uh, emergency stop if somebody is is in the leader vehicle or outside the vehicle and needs to stop the operation. Several lawmakers watched the demonstration, then PennDOT Secretary Leslie Richards got in the driver's yeah. seat. What's happening now is he's taking over the steering. If you can see down at the brake and the gas, he's controlling his brake pedal. This truck will be at the tail end of a construction zone, controlled by the truck in the front. And the manufacturer insists it won't veer into speeding traffic. We want everybody who comes to work every single day in Pennsylvania to go home safely to their family. How was your ride? Oh, smooth. Smooth. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah.